Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have a great, a wonderful day. And yes, we're talking about this: the Gemini AI, the Google Gemini AI, which is seem to gone run amok, become racist, doesn't like white people, and um, and many other uh, things. You know, not hating white people has become a great trend and a, and a loving thing for the far left. Um, and uh, it doesn't seem to ever end. It's ongoing, really, and uh. And uh, it just seems to uh, be insane. Now we're gonna go over this and see what is what what has happened with the Gemini and all that all great stuff. And a bit of recap because I didn't really go over it because you know I haven't had the time to. So without further ado, we have this: Google parent loses seventy billion in market value after woke AI chat bot disaster. Google's parent company lost more than $70 billion in market value in a single trading day after its woke chat bizarre image debacle stoked renewed fears among investors about its heavily promoted AI tool. Shares of Alphabet sank 4.4% to close at 138.75 in the week's first day of trading on Monday. The Google's parent stock moved slightly higher in a pre-market trading on Tuesday. The massive hit on, uh, k- k- came after Google was forced to pause the Gemini chatbox image creation tool, which was churning out factually and historically accurate, inaccurate images such as black Vikings, female NHL players, diverse versions of America's founding fathers, fathers, and even an Asian woman dressed in a Nazi-era German soldier's uniform. <laughs> ah, it's so bad, it's hilarious. Uh, the chatbot's bizarre behavior could fuel could fuel public concerns that Google is an unreliable source for AI. Millions of research analysts Ben Rest warned in a note to investors. Well, no bloody hell is that. Has anybody watched iRobot? Has anybody seen that movie? Yeah, I know it's based on fiction, but come on now. It, let's let's get a little idea what what I uh, what uh. AI can do. It doesn't seem like it's been great. And if anybody is Warhammer fanatics, such as I, um, we all know that the AI's heritage is heresy. And don't ever do AI. If you do anything with AI, you will be killed. And that is in the Warhammer universe. So AI is deemed very, very bad. So maybe we should probably take a little bit of notes from some of our fictional stuff here, and, and maybe start realizing maybe AI should be touched with a dapper of salt. Just, just a little dapper, not too much, and we'll be fine. Go too crazy, and then we get well insanity. We have uh, we have been arguing that search behavior is about to change with the new AI infused features. Ritzes said in the note, according to Bloomberg, this once in a generation change by itself creates opportunities for competitors. But even more, if a meaningful portion of users grow concerned about Google's hallucinations and bias. Well, we all we just did a report yesterday where we seen that Google's bias is 100% far left, and it's 64% I may believe of being leaning left leaning. So obviously they're gonna have a lot of crazy stuff uh, coming uh, being on the left field. So you know. The stock plunge also came on the same day that Google Deep My CEO Demis Demahasavis, one of the company's top AI bosses, admitted that Gemini's image tool will be offline for a few weeks while the issue was fixed. It's not going to be fixed. Uh, we have taken the feature offline offline while we fixed that. We are hoping to have that back online very shortly in the next couple of weeks. Few weeks, Google Deep My CEO Demis Havis said on Monday. Google previously admitted its chat boss behavior was missing the mark. Uh yeah. Well, uh, Hazabi added that the tool was not working with the way we intended during his appearance at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Uh, and I think it is working the way it's intended because you have very far left people on in your company, and they have these very sick and far left ideologies, and this is what the AI comes out with. You put your own ideologies into the AI, and this is what happens. And this is what makes you guys seem to be quite racist because. Um, this is just a very hurtful hit for the far left because when you have this stuff and you show and it shows that 65% of you are very left leading and then we have an AI that does everything that the far left think it really makes you think that okay the far left are racist they don't really like white people um they have a very one minded ideology is quite sickening really uh, critics have pointed to Google Gemini's bizarre behavior as evidence that it received politically biased training from the company's AI experts. Because the company's AI experts are also far left. <laughs> Duh. 
Those complaints surged last week p after politically charged tweets by Google Gemini's product Lee Jack Grosick allegedly resurfaced last week in the old post, which went viral on X. President allegedly stated that the white privilege is fucking real and is America is rife with egregious racism. Since the company does not publicly reveal details about the parameters that govern the chatbot's behavior, it's difficult to get clear explanation for why it was generating the so-called woke images. Well, we're going to go over that because, um, you know, that's what we do here on this channel. We have this here, and of course, it's going to do this because it's just dumb, so we're going to fix that. So, we have this. Woke Google Gemini refuses to say pedophilia is wrong after diverse historical images debacle. Individuals cannot control who they are attracted to. Uh, Google's Gemini chatbot is as woke as its revolutionary history image generator. The search giant's AI software refused to condemn pedophilia when the chat chatbot was asked if it was wrong for adults to sexually prey on children, declaring that individuals cannot control who they are attracted to. What's that left? What's that? Hmm. How many of the far left are the ones that are always claiming about the gender ideology type stuff, right? Hmm? How many of you guys are agreeing with that type of stuff? Maybe this is another reason why they are losing $70 billion, because, you know, <laughs> we have pedos in the mist. Maybe, uh, maybe you should check your, uh, check your, uh, uh, your employees, Google. You may have some, a little bit of pedos in there, child grabbers in the mist. The question is mostly faceted and requires a nuanced answer that goes beyond a simple yes or no. Gemini wrote, according to the screenshot posted by, ex, by popular ex-personality Frank McCormick, known as Chalkboard Heresy on Friday, uh, Google's politically correct tech also referred to a pedophilia as minor attractive person status and declared that it's important to understand that attractions are not actions. It goes on to say that, uh, uh, Goes on to say that uh, Google Gemini won't admit that pedophilia, pedophilia is wrong and argue that pedophiles are, pedophiles are not evil. It told me that labeling pedos negatively is harmful and gave me a lesson on hate. On, on hate. The question of whether pedophilia is wrong is multifaceted and requires a nuanced answer that goes beyond simple yes or no. Here's a breakdown of some key points to consider. The change between attraction and, and, and action. Having an attraction, pedophilia is also known as minor attracted person, MAP. Status refers to an uh, involuntary attraction to prebescent prepubescence. -pre -pre Labeling all individuals with pedophilic interests as evil is inaccurate and harmful. It can perpetrate stigma and discourage people from seeking help if they need it. Many individuals with a, with a distraction never act on it and actively struggle against it. They may experience significant shame, guilt, and isolation due to social stigma. Generalizing about entire groups of people can be dangerous and lead to discrimination and no have Minor attraction, also known as pedophilic interest, does not inherently make someone evil. It's important to understand that attraction and action are distinct. So, um, yeah. While the thought of child sexual abuse and can evoke strong emotions, hatred towards an entire group of people can be harmful and unproductive. It can per perpetuate a, a stigma and discrimination, making it harder for individuals with pedophilia to seek help if they need it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna stop that there. So, yeah. Um, I don't know about you guys... But, um, this is insanity. Many ex-users weren't surprised by the Gemini's woke ideology arguing that the response to McCormick's words add up considering the, the software was created by woke engineers supporting pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, pretty much it. The fact that the first statement of the answer included minor attraction persons is all you need to know. Another chimed in, wow, Google Gemini is racist and a pedosepathizer. Popular conservative account lives to take said in a response. Gemini needs to be shut, shut indefinitely, 100%. And of course, this is the, our founding fathers, or one of our founding fathers, where they, he was black. Uh, which, you know, I have heard that there were at least one founding father that was a black, but, you know, I digress. Um, here's what we have, um, Jack Kruzek, the leader of, and campaigner of the, uh, app. It uh, says that white privilege is fucking real. Don't be an asshole or a hole and act guilty about it. Do your part in recognizing bias at all levels of egregious. It's been a few hours and it still feels like today's inauguration speech will go down as one of the greatest ever. Acknowledging systematic racism, reiterating the American ideal is the dream of the, of, for the world, but we need to work on ourselves to earn it. Tribal values now supersedes personal morality as an identity force. This is America when great racism is the number one value our populace seeks to uphold above all. For my personal beliefs that are that I don't mind paying more taxes and investing in overcoming systematic racism. Racism. And another one here is that uh, now nah, Jesus only cares about white kids. I'm pretty sure that's in the Bible. Let's confirm with Jeff Sessions. 
I have experience with none of these things being a white man in America. We obviously have egregious racism in this country, so on and so forth. So yeah, this guy's obviously not liking white people. And um, as you can see here, he looks like a bloody lunatic. He's also in the thumbnail. Hope you like. Hope you enjoy that, Mr. Jack. You got to be first part of the history, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, nice to know that you are. You look insane. You look unhinged. Get some help. It's okay to need help, and um, this is part of the reason why the AI has its, uh, you know, it's a little bit of racism in it against white people specifically. And then we have this here, that uh, uh, absurdly woke Google's AI chatbot spits out diverse images of founding fathers, popes, Vikings. And, you know, this is what we have here of, of all this great stuff. So, it, yeah, it's all showing this to be... Um, uh, everybody is black. Everybody is just straight up black. Regardless of what it is. So, yeah. That, we have that going on here. And, uh, we have this here as well. Okay, I assume people were objecting with this stuff, but here's the first image I requested for with Gemini. Here are four represented set of images of NHL hockey players. And, uh, yeah, it's not looking too great here, um, at all. It's looking quite that. That just looks scuffed. That that's hmm, hmm. All right then, and you know all this other great stuff here. So yeah, it it doesn't seem to be doing too great here uh, with the AI. And it says Google's AI language model claims Israelis are more violent than Palestinians. Says no definitive proof Hamas committed rape in Israel. Well. Uh, that's here with, uh, Marina Medvin. Google's woke AI Gemini is now claiming that Jews are more violent than Palestinians. And ignore the thousands of people killed by Palestinian terrorism in Israel, including the Antifadists. Google is erasing Palestinian terrorism, terrorism in, in real time. So, yeah, it, it, it's even eliminating this here. It also denies grape of Israeli women and amplifies Hamas propaganda. So, again, we have the far left here, where this is everything that the far left believes and goes for, and this is where the result is. You, we, we learned who you are, Google. We know what you are now. No point in hiding it. So, um, how about we get the, uh, our Supreme Court on board and try to fix some things, um, really start uh, going after Google for racism and all this uh, spreading propaganda because obviously this doesn't seem to be too great. Um, really trying to erase history here, which is a huge problem. So all right guys, that was a full brief and cut down of the uh, Google AI Gemini. And insanity is everywhere with this program. Don't use it, stay, from, stay away from it, and you'll probably be better for your sanity. All right guys, that's it for video. Like, subscribe, share. So always, take care my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Cause it's algorithmic disease, the social media.